Hey! <laughs> How are you doing, peeps? Um, this is my first video for my new YouTube channel called Jordan's Jukebox. So, originally, I mean, if you watch my last video, I explained that I wanted to live stream, like, full reaction videos. The, I'm very new to the YouTube kind of manosphere, and I didn't know that when you go on a live stream, you need to have a certain amount of subscribers or views, and it's that amount where I don't have. So, um, before that, I think I'm just going to do just normal reviews, and I might play odd bits of music um, with the album um, as I go along with it. But... Um, it's going to be mostly just reviews instead of reactions, because that way it's shorter. Um, so, if you don't know, I'm Jordan, you know, Jordan's Jukebox. Um, but I also have my first channel called The Black Gay Sheep, where I talk about more, um kind of politics, global issues to do with the LBGT community, but this channel is strictly for just music lovers who want to get to know each other from music. So the first video that I'm going to do on this channel is Avril Lavigne's album Let Go, which I, I actually got. Um, all of my CD albums are in just these case uh, thin cases they uh, they don't hold up nearly as much room as like a normal cd plastic case um all of my stuff's in like a mini trunk <coughs> so avril lavigne is a person that is very special to me for many reasons um i just love her voice it's the perfect mix of someone that isn't over singing but then also isn't just a whiny kind of typical pop princess singer and she had a look to her well she's had many looks actually she had a skater girl look she had like a punk rock look um she had a pop punk look um and and it's gone more poppy as the years go by so I definitely prefer her f uh, first three albums because they went through, in my opinion, cool favourites. Um, but obviously, because this was her first album, Let Go, if you notice, she's only young on there. I think she was about 16, 17. So... Before this album, she was like, I wouldn't say nobody, but she wasn't famous. So it's nice to have that album that made it in someone's life. And I would say that the first two albums sound very similar. Uh, I would say the only real difference sound-wise is that her second album, Under My Skin, which I'm going to react to either Thursday or Friday. Um, it has more piano sounds, and I would say it's more classical because of the piano, where uh, Let Go doesn't. So, um, to begin with, that I want to explain about this album, um, this was the first album that I actually had of Avril Lavigne. Um, it was technically my sister's, I think she kind of liked Avril Lavigne, but I don't think she was that bothered about the full album because she gave it to me when I, you know, I think I heard her play the full album and then I was like, oh, this is cool. I like this. Um, and then she gave it to me, um, you know, when I expressed that. So... I had that album when I was in primary and I had it on my iTunes shuffle iPod and yeah I just loved it. I think it was the first album that I had that was pop but it had more of a um, alternative pop sound which is kind of rocky you know 
um, that's always been her sound, kind of like skater music slash rock music, but in the production of pop. Um, so my two favourites used to be I'm With You and Skater Boy for two completely different reasons. I loved the music to and the lyrics to I'm With You. It's it's a bit more of a slower song, almost like a ballad, but not a belty ballad. Um, and I liked Skater Boy because of the, again, the music um, and the beat of the drums. Avril Lavigne was my first kind of introduction to someone who has a rock look and a rock sound. So, um, yeah, she definitely was. Um, but as I got older, you know, your tastes change and you might not prefer or prefer certain songs that a certain someone has done. So, um, with Avril Lavigne now on this album, I would say that I have about three favourites on the album. I have Naked, which is quite similar to I'm With You when it comes to the fact that it's slower and it's uh, more about the heart instead of just rocking out. Um, and then there's Mobile. So Mobile is one of the ones that are underrated, I think. So it's got more of a poppy sound compared to her other ones. I mean, it's still got that side of rock, but it's quite catchy. But the B is very expressionate and it makes you kind of want to jump up and dance and pretend that you're lighter than air kind of thing. And I love the lyrics because the lyrics talk about, you know, everything is changing and I'm scared of it, but I'm going to embrace it eventually. And then my other favourite is probably Unwanted just because of the vocal ability that she has and also because of the lyrics, because it's very angsty. It's probably the most angstiest one on the album. So, um, I would definitely recommend this album or even Avril Lavigne as a whole, but to start as Let Go, to someone who um, likes alternative pop, because I think that would be one of the best ways to describe Avril Lavigne's genre. Um, yeah, um, so I would recommend that they listen to Complicated from the album first because it will be a song that they have listened to because it's just so popular and so well known. And then get them to listen to I'm With You because that one's more emotional. So they'll see both sides of Avril Lavigne that's more rock and then one that's more slower. So, um, I think that there's 14 songs altogether. There is Losing Grip, Complicated, Skater Boy, I'm With You, Mobile, Unwanted, um, Tomorrow, Anything But Ordinary, Things I'll Never Say, um, Naked, My World, um, too much that I'm asking for. I think that's all the songs. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, comment down below which one's your favourites or not favourites. Like and subscribe and see you guys.